Welcome back to 2230, your source for in-depth analysis of news and events in the Asian region. Today, we dive deep into the recent controversy surrounding George Yeo, former Singaporean Minister of Foreign Affairs, and his proposal of a Chinese Commonwealth as a potential framework for Taiwan-China relations. In his recent speech at the Asia-Pacific Forward Forum in Taipei, George Yeo suggested the concept of a Chinese Commonwealth to facilitate negotiations between Taiwan and China. He argued that the division between the two nations primarily exists at the political level and emphasized the need to address this issue sooner rather than later. Yeo's proposal has ignited a fierce debate, drawing criticism from Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of China, Taiwan, expressed deep disappointment with Yeo's remarks, labeling them as biased and inconsistent with the understanding of most democratic countries in the region. They contended that Yeo's opinions not only fail to contribute to regional peace, but also harm Taiwan-US relations and Taiwan-Singapore relations. In response to this criticism, George Yeo took to Facebook, expressing his surprise at the ministry's response. He pointed out that his speech had received a positive reception from the audience, which included former President Ma Yingju and former Vice President Vincent Su. Yeo also emphasized his affection for the land and people of Taiwan. Now, let's break down this complex issue. On one hand, George Yeo's proposal could be seen as an attempt to find a peaceful resolution to the long-standing tensions between Taiwan and China. He argues that the status quo is unsustainable, especially considering the shifting balance of power between the People's Republic of China and the United States. On the other hand, Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs sees Yeo's remarks as detrimental to their efforts to maintain positive relations with the United States and other democratic nations. They argue that such proposals could inadvertently aid China's authoritarian agenda. What are your thoughts on this issue? Do you agree with George Yeo's proposal for a Chinese Commonwealth, or do you side with Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Let us know in the comments below, and remember to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more in-depth coverage of Asian news and politics. Thank you for joining us on 2230. Stay informed, stay engaged, and we'll see you in the next video.